Hugo de Garis believes that intelligent machines or artifacts will be far more intelligent than humans and will threaten to attain world domination, resulting in a conflict between cosmists who support the artifacts and Terrans who oppose them. And so he wonders. Which is the greater moral dilemma? The risk that humanity might be destroyed if these creatures are created, or the moral tragedy of not building gods? In the March of the Machines, 2004, you also predicted the machines might take over. In which respect does your vision differ from his? And how would you answer to the Gary's moral dilemma? Hugo de Garis asked the very important questions about um, should we be building gods or should we face the fact that in doing so humans could well be destroyed and, and hence as a result of that we may well get different factions of humans uh, the Terrans who the sort of Luddites of the present day who want to stick with what we've got not to build the gods because of the potential harm to humanity uh, and those that want to go ahead and do it. Um, I, I think there's very good points from Hugo. I don't think if there ever was an actual battle between the Terrans, Terrans the ones who want to stay, or the Cosmists, the ones that want to build the machines, uh, the Cosmists would win easily, So uh, because the Terrans would be trying to stick with the technology of yesterday, whereas the Cosmists would be working with the technology of tomorrow. And whenever there have been such battles between different groups of humans, the ones with the better technology, almost certainly, I don't know any examples where not, unless there's a complete um, military mess up, um, almost certainly the, the ones with the better technology come out on top. Certainly it's an enormous advantage. So um, I, I think it is a moral dilemma though. Uh, do we build technology that um, could put an end to the human race. I, I don't know that I have an issue with that. It, it depends what comes out of it. If um, we just end up with intelligent machines and humans have gone, or we have a few humans around that are acting as slaves or pets to the machines, which is a possibility, which was in an excellent book, March of the Machines, um, then I don't know that I do like that idea of humans disappearing. But if we look at the possibility of cyborgs emerging, that means humans have upgraded, humans have evolved. And, and in that sense, I think, why not? I, I quite fancy being a cyborg, an upgraded human with lots of other capabilities and can say bye bye to the human race as it stands. I don't see an issue with that. So in that sense, I'm somewhere between a cosmist and a Terran, um, I'm a, a, a cosman or whatever it is halfway, where it is looking to building gods, but we're building ourselves as gods. Um, we're, we're improving on humanity as it is to the next level. So I, I don't really see, to me, that's a, a pure, almost Darwinian evolutionary step, possibly a bit of a non-linearity, but it's a pretty much straightforward step from where we are now. So I don't mind um, humans dying out. Uh, Terrans, you know, you've had your day, bye-bye. Let's move to the future, but it doesn't necessarily have to be intelligent machines taking over. <laughs>